Hi, I'm Crazy Bolded. Welcome in my studio. As an Ableton certified trainer, I started making Ableton tips and tricks videos a while ago. Today's video is a special one since Ed Banger is making its 100th release. It's a compilation on which I have a track which is called Corridors. I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay, so the project is pretty simple. First, the structure we have an intro for 16 bars. Then the first part, a break, and then the second part that leads to the end. It's only got 11 tracks. We've got the, this guitar sample, that's the main part, the bass, and then the drums, and some chords. So I'm going to solo the tracks one by one. So we've got the kick first, that comes from machine. Then we have some percussions. Then we have some other percussions. I hat. Other tracks for effects like sweeps and crash extra. And the bass. The bass comes from uh, synth by Native Instruments, which is called Monarch, which is very nice. Then this guitar sample that is the main part. This other samples that I'm going to play here, which are in the back but add body to the, the whole track. Then we have these chords. They come from another native instrument patch from uh, from contact. And then the chords, these chords, they come from a hardware synth by Korg, which is called Mon uh, which is called Minilog, sorry. And uh, that sounds a bit like uh, Melotron here. few tricks that I used. First on this chords track, we have this kind of uh, pitch bend that you can hear now, which is actually not a pitch bend, it's an automation on the size of the reverb that kind of bend the sound when, they, when it changes. to show you a few other tricks that I used. First about this uh, guitar part, I'm going to add a track, an audio track, to show you how I did that. So this is the original sample that I used. I'm going to solo the track, move the playhead. That comes from uh, an old vinyl that I have. And now that's the sound after it went through the move delay and some other effects. First we have an EQ, then a compressor that's side-chained to the kick. So if I switch it off, you hear the sound is very different. Another effect that I've used is this simple delay and its uh, purpose is just to open the stereo field. So what I did is on the left channel I've left, I've left it almost untouched, so it's only got one millisecond delay. And on the right, right channel I've added a few milliseconds of delay between 5 and 10 milliseconds. And uh, this makes the left and right channel uh, have a bit of delay and that opens the stereo field. So let me switch it off. So you can hear the difference. When it's off, it's more in the middle. And when it's open. 
Okay, another trick that I've used, I'm going to look this part, is on the hi-hat. So let me cut solo the track and switch off the compressor and the vocoder. So now you have the original sound of the hi-hat. I'm going to stop it and play it. It's a very short hi-hat and I wanted a longer sound. So I've added a vocoder with the carrier being noise. And this adds a long tail to the hi-hat that you can set using the release. And this with a sidechain compressor it gives a sound that is much more lively than what it was at the beginning. Okay, these are the two tricks I wanted to show you on this project. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you again soon. Bye.